Good morning, children. How are you all? I hope all are well. So, children, in the previous video, we are discussing the chapter nine, that is multiplication. But this is this chapter is not in your syllabus, so we are not going to continue the chapter nine. And today we are going to revise the chapters, that is chapter three, mal chapter three. Ordinals. Okay, chapter three ordinals. So, chap. Uh, what do you call as ordinal? What do you call as ordinals? Ordinals means ordinals. Numbers are nothing but it tells us the position of a particular object in which position the particular object is placed. Okay, ordinals numbers are nothing but it tells us the position of a particular object in which position the particular object is placed. Okay, so so we have learned lot of new things in numbers numbers one to nine. Now I have drawn few objects on the board. And I have written the numbers to know them. Now, I will be asking question, and you need to tell me what is the position of that object placed on the board. So, what are the different objects I have? I have tree, butterfly, flower, leaf. Pencil, triangle, pot, ball, and star. I have got nine objects with me. I have written the number. Now, if I tell I want to know the position of the ball, where is the ball placed in this particular board? Just look at, look and tell me. Ball is placed number eight, right? Now, how will you tell? We have to tell that the ball is placed in eighth position. Eighth position, right? So, whenever we mention a number in position, we will be adding on the top the position of that number. We will be adding the extra th, extra th. To tell the exact position of the object, so it is standing where it is standing on the eighth position. Okay. Now, what is the position? Position of a top. Position of a pot, which is placed on the board. Yes, it is on seventh position. So here we be, we will be adding th. Okay. Seventh position, and what is the position of a star? Yes, it is on ninth position. Now you are able to understand how to tell the position of the particular object. Yes. So this is how we are, we will be telling or discussing about the position of the particular object by seeing. By seeing how they are placed, so I hope you would have understood. Whenever we tell the position, we will we will tell if it is if it is one, we will tell that it plays in first position. So along with one number one, we will add st. It is placed in the first position. For number two, we will be telling as second position. We will be adding nd. Nd to tell the position. To tell the position, second position. For three, for number three, we will be adding rd. Rd and 
and for number 4 onwards it is th it is th so number 4th 5th 6th 7th 8th 9th okay now now see this these are the short form of ordinals okay See, these are the short, these are the number, their ordinal names and their short form. You have to learn all these ordinal names and their short form. See, the number one, F-I-R-S-T first. In short form, we will write like this. Okay. Number two, S-E-C-O-N-D second. Second, we will write 2 nd. Number 3, third, t h i r d, third, 3 r d. Third, we will write like this in short form. And from number 4 onwards, we will add the th along with the numbers. Okay? 4 f o u r t h, 4, 4 th. Then number 5, F I V F I F T H 5, F T H. Then number 6, S I X T H 6, 6 T H 6. Then number 7, S E V E N T H 7, T H 7, T H 7. In short form, we will write like this. Then number 8, E I G H T H eight eight. The number nine N I N T H ninth nine T H ninth. This is the short form of nine. And number ten T E N ten T T E N T H tenth ten T H tenth. The short forms of ordinals and their name. Okay. So, I hope you would have understood. Okay. We will discuss the next topic in the next week.